Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. Today I'm gonna have a bit of fun with this little chap. Matchbox 23 Volkswagen Camper I already done one and uh, I bought this one to restore but I was bored and uh, I already had a project in mind that I wanted to do and I already had my supplies so I felt well may as well just do it now so I hope you enjoy it as usual and start in drilling the rivets or the mushrooms Bang, and it's off. The base is all right. I'm not even gonna touch it. I just wanna play about with the finish. The screen is all right. I'm just put in a bit of soapy water, same as the interior, and that's it. And this, well, yeah, it's going to have a bit of a different finish. Time for a siesta now. So I'm going to leave it with some paint uh, stripper. And it'll be done in a couple of hours. And it looks like I'm peeling an orange. The paint uh, comes away really easy. The roof of the van is missing. So I'm going to use this plastic. And I'm gonna cut some pieces uh, and see if it works. So I'm cutting three pieces the same size, roughly the size of the roof, and I'm going to glue them together and then leave them to set on top of the roof with some tape to see if it gets the curvature of the roof. I'm using plastic glue, gives me a few seconds until it sets properly.
I put the tape as tight as I could and hopefully it will set like that. And I left it about 24 hours. Not because I want it, it's because I forgot about it. So I'm going to open it now and see if it worked. And there you go, we got a winner. A lot of uh, filing and sanding down and cleaning. And see how it looks. Now I'm gonna mark where the roof opening is from inside so I know where to put the hinges for the hinges I'm using this it's a piece of plastic that comes with your tweezers and it's kind of rubbery plastic in between And my battery died. I put some primer and it's ready. You're dying to know what I'm gonna do, aren't ya? And that's the roof with the hinges. Sorry about no footage. And there you go. I bought this online. They are nail decals or wraps. And they only cost about a pound each. And you can buy almost everything. So I'm going to be sticking all these over the car. And it's going to become a hippie van. And this is just water with a bit of uh, fairy liquid to break the tension of uh, water or whatever it's called. And I just keep going. And I'm just piercing where the handle is so there's no trapped air inside because it needs to show all the detail through the decal which is hard enough as it is
and a mirror image for the roof. And now I'm just gonna put some little ones. Of course, the cannabis leaf that needs to be there. It don't matter if they're straight or no. You just put them wherever you want. Just have fun, or whatever you fancy. I painted the roof like a starry night, and of course I forgot to record it. And now I'm just putting a bit of uh, peace and love. And now I'm just going to put it back together. I painted the interior of the van as well, just with a mix of like rainbow colors. So whatever you can see from outside, the interior matches the outside. Does that make sense? Now I'm just gonna put a bit of uh, super glue, and uh, I don't know, maybe I will open it in the future and do a proper restoration to this one. But for the time being, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now I'm going to install the roof and hopefully it will work. And it works. Unfortunately, I didn't take in consideration the thickness of the window. And I've done that before. So I'm going to have to trim the hinges to size. Not a biggie.
So there you go. Finally, my hippie van. A dream come true. On a small scale. So I'm going to leave you now. I hope you had a good weekend. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. But uh, comment. I like your comments. So I'll see you next week. When I'll come back with a normal restoration. Thank you for watching.